Welcome to the Windows channel and this is another anniversary update feature that we're going to take a look at and it's of course the brand new start menu and the anniversary update. So when you click the start menu in the anniversary update one of the first things you'll notice is things were a little change around. You now have all the time the list of all the programs installed. That was one of the things that a lot of people ask. Where are my programs? They didn't understand where to take a look. So it's there. You don't have to get them anymore. They are available here. Of course, there's a recently added. So every time that you install a new software, it's going to show up. There's the most used. So everything that you have that you use regularly is shown here. Then you've got suggested. Of course, you can turn that off. It's kind of an ad in your start menu. Actually, what they do is they try to show you some apps that you might be interested in. Of course, um, you know, some people ask me, don't you find that a little, you know, kind of too much or what do you think? I have no problem with it for one simple reason. You can turn it off. If it was something you can't turn off, I would probably not be really happy to have ads of, you know, software from the Windows Store in my start menu. But since you can turn it off, it doesn't really matter. And of course, the list, alphabetical list of all the software. You've got now a visible, all the time visible, the famous power button with sleep, shutdown, and restart. You've got your settings available right here. You've got your file explorer available on the left. And that's why they kind of left it out on most of the new anniversary updates. You'll see that the file explorer, which was part of your taskbar in Windows 1511, uh, version 1511, is gone. And that's because they've simply put the file explorer on the start menu on the left but you can easily put it back if it's gone and of course your user account where you can log out uh, sign out lock the screen or change account settings and you've got the expand which will have more information here including uh, start so when you expand here uh, first you have more information here but that empty space is going to have uh, more information also. On the right side, of course, there's a little separation you see here. On the right side is pretty much the same as we had in the start menu before, except that it's a little more interesting. You can now put up to four apps side by side, uh, where before you only had the possibility, depending on the way you do it, of you know two or three, or it's kind of a little more rigid so here it's a little simpler. You can now, of course, have uh, all of these here. You can expand. You can put full screen if you want. That's also something that uh, people wanted, uh, a full screen experience. So you can go into the settings and say, I want to have my start menu full screen. You can, of course, have your start menu smaller if you desire, like this. You see here how it's small. I like to have it kind of halfway, personally, because it uh, gives me the possibility to have uh, a lot of these uh, little, um, you know, most of my apps and uh, still see my desktop or stuff in the background. So a brand new and uh, revamped start menu in the anniversary update. And of course, take a look at our videos. We're going to show you how to tweak this, how to make groups, how to tweak everything the way you wanted in Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up and thank you for watching.